How's it going, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Uh, real quick, I got a few little stories to share with you. It has been a long weekend, so there's just a few Xbox things to talk about. Let's go over it right now. And also right now, you know what you should do? You should click that subscribe button and hit that bell if you like my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. All right, so today it is all fun stuff, thankfully. Let's get right into it. So uh, Starfield had a little bit of an update and they talked about their overall aesthetic designs for the game. I probably shouldn't have gone into the quote box until I was ready to talk about it, but yeah. Uh, they posted something on Xbox Newswire and they basically said, Early on in this project, when we were trying to establish the overall aesthetic for this game, we sort of coined the term NASA punk to describe a sci-fi universe that's a little more grounded and relatable, says Starfield lead artist Istvan Pili. We wanted a very realistic take, he adds. You can draw a line from current day space technology and extrapolate from there into the future so it's believable and relatable. What's really interesting is how much we all latched onto that concept, added lead animator Rick Vissens. When you said NASA punk, the art team could instantly take those two words and make them work. It was just the perfect term for our art direction and keeping everyone in same flow, in the same flow. I've noticed a lot of like dropped words in blog posts lately. Anyway, in same flow and working with a consistent style for me it just clicked at the start of the project i think the term was critical for us i think that term was critical for us there i'm dropping words now um so i mean they they can say that that was a defining thing for them but for me when i look at when i look at uh starfield i actually don't see <laughs> i don't see uh punk really uh, i like it like they have this video where they talk about or they show off some of the, the design things, and I, I just love the design of it. So uh, NASA punk, sure. I You know what? Looking at the drawings, I kind of get it now. And as long as that gave them a jumping off point, <laughs> I'm all for it, right? Uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I, I love the artwork. I love the aesthetic. If you have been watching uh, or my channel or anybody who's doing Starfield coverage, they've done all these like little uh, artistic vignettes of, I kind of want that poster. <laughs> I, I hadn't watched this yet before recording the video. Uh, they've been doing these sort of like little vignettes talking about like the three locations, some of the enemy types that you're going to encounter. And I am really, really excited to see more about Starfield. So uh, the fact that they, they landed on NASA Punk as one of their stylings, I just thought it was an interesting news story. Uh, separately, Sounds like Halo is going to be getting a campaign update if you want to hear more about that. Basically, uh, there's this big long post and they talk about campaign improvements. So within the campaign, there's going to be multiple things that are going to be uh, enhanced or made just a little bit better. So they're going to add quick resume back. Uh, the team has been working on a handful of fixes for campaigns since launch, and there will be even more on the way. Be sure to read the patch notes on Halo Sports site next week for more details. So some stuff includes stability and performance, which they're working on. So that's going to be PC and console. The big team battle motion tracker is going to be corrected, and they're going to continue working on anti-cheat improvements. Now, somebody said, Destin, if you finish your battle pass too fast, you're not going to want to go back to Halo Infinite. And... They were sort of right. So what actually happened was I've been playing. There's just so many other games <laughs> for work, for IGN work, and also just out right now, like Horizons out right now. I st I'm still like I haven't touched Death Stranding since I told you guys last time. And I, I, I want to finish it. I'm like in the home stretch on that one. And uh, yeah, one of my favorite games is getting a huge expansion. Destiny 2 Witch Queen is about to come out. Uh, Elden Ring's right around the corner. There's just so many things that I I can't wait to play. Um, so yeah, Halo Halo needs to do something interesting in order for me to come back. But I, I'm just gonna wait till season two, probably personally. Um, I don't know. Did you, are you still playing Halo? Let me know because I was like really hooked on it. I have nearly 300 hours in Halo, and then I. 
I sort of just fell off a cliff and I never really came back to it. Anyway, let me know what your play time is like. I'll go back to Halo for sure. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite franchises ever. There's just too many other things to play right now. So uh, there's this logo for Street Fighter 6. We talked about the Street Fighter 6 reveal yesterday. And Street Fighter just can't get a break. Because apparently this logo is Adobe <laughs> Adobe stock art that you can get for uh, $80. And it has been used... <laughs> in a few things already. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, over on IGN, was it Matt? Oh, it was Taylor. Hey, Taylor's great. Taylor and Joe are awesome. Uh, they said they got this interview. What did they say here? Speaking of IGN, X Cooley confirmed that they had created the Adobe stock image and revealed that they were looking to sell exclusive rights for the image to Capcom, removing it from sale to other parties. We've contacted Capcom to comment on the similarities in the designs and X Cooley's offer for sale. So like, just look at it. <laughs> oh man, Capcom. That's, that feels like one of those things where somebody at Capcom must have seen it. And then like, I don't know if they accidentally updated it or whatever, but yeah. Um, not, not a great look. So, uh, one of my other favorite games, Final Fantasy XIV, did announce that they are getting uh, a visual upgrade and they are going to be bringing back the um, the free trial. The free trial will be coming back on February 22nd. But there are going to be some visual upgrades coming in the near future. Uh, Yoshida shared that the team wants to address the overall picture of Final Fantasy XIV. While the new graphics will not be comparable to standalone titles, there will be meaningful updates to textures, lighting, and shaders. It will be a bit of a wait until patch 7.0, however, as patch 6.1 is currently scheduled for April. So these visual updates that I'm going to show you from their, their uh, YouTube video here, uh, basically... That's what your character looks like currently, and that's what they're targeting. So you can see more, uh, I think they're called splines on the hair, uh, a little bit of a smoother face. The shadowing's about the same. It just it just looks a little touched up, right? And was this the only character that they showed? And then here's uh, one of the, I don't remember what this character type is called off the top of my head. I play Final Fantasy, but I don't remember every single thing about video, a video game off the top of my head. That's why I take notes. Uh, Oh, he looks a lot better, actually. Um, who else we got here? This one's pretty good. That's a pretty big uh, update there. They've been constantly updating Final Fantasy. You know, N. Walker just came out. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV again. I got a Steam code, so I've been playing on Steam. I just rolled a new character on Steam, so now I'll have a character on Steam because I think I redeemed the code wrong, and I got... Hey, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so all that's going on. But yeah, so uh, in addition to all of that, we know that the uh, company, the game will not be getting NFTs. That was the other story. Oh my goodness. Wow. So uh, speaking through Square Enix translator, Imi uh, to Tokutake Yoshida-san said, based on how Final Fantasy XIV is designed, we don't intend on incorporating any sort of NFT element in the game at this point. And he reiterated, if anybody is worried or concerned about it, I can clearly state at this time that we do not have any intentions to incorporate that into the game. So great news. And you might be, you might have noticed that I brought up the Destiny 2 Witch Queen thing. So uh, this is one of those big Destiny releases. You guys know I'm a big Destiny fan. I posted the, the montage of the previous season. Like every four months, I will post my destiny collection of cutscenes from the season where I take every important, uh, narrative development from a season and I collect them all because Bungie just takes that stuff out of the game. I've done every season that the game has and Witch queen starts tomorrow at 9am. So I'm going to be probably playing Witch queen tomorrow. I'm really, really excited to play it. Uh, and it's, it's one of those reset points in destiny. So just, uh, sorry, I'm going to nerd out about destiny for a second. I used to do a destiny show, but, uh, it's one of those reset points. So if you sign on, you're going to be, 
starting at like, I believe it's 1350 is the floor and the power goes up to 1500. So anything you have is going to be 1500 when you sign sign on. Um, if you want to get caught up on the story, I know there's a bunch of like collections of the story so far out there. So uh, if you're going to play, I'm not trying to sell you on Destiny. I'm just letting you know I'm going to be playing. So if I see you online, say hi. I, you guys know I play on PC. Just be like, hey, Destin, what's up? You want to grind this? public event or whatever they're doing this season who knows i got my hunter void build that i found out right after the servers went offline has one key perk that's getting eliminated so i gotta redo it anyway slow news day that's right so i i collect all these little stories and make my daily video thank you so much for watching everybody if you like these videos hit that subscribe button hit that bell i do appreciate you watching i appreciate your commentary on yesterday's video yesterday's video was sort of serious but somebody pointed out something really interesting that i appreciated they said um at least if microsoft buys the company they can get rid of all the they have the opportunity to get rid of all the bad stuff. The alternative is it just stays as is. And I was like, you know, I hadn't thought about it from that perspective. Uh, the, I, the timings just felt weird, but from that perspective, you're right. I think at the end of the day, it will end up being a good thing if they're able to get in there and make things better for the Activision employees. So appreciated the comment, please appreciated the dialogue from everybody. That's a good way to think about it. I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta play some Destiny in just a few hours. So thank you to the members. Oh, there they are. I didn't forget about you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel with your memberships. Join button is right down there. Thank you so much. I'm going to get out of here. Bye for now, everybody.